Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's time to rise and shine. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I hope you're feeling. We had a plan, and then Gus. Get up, you sleepyhead. Yes. Get it, Gus. This might not work. Well, good morning. Uh, this morning, we're going to be reading from 2 Timothy 4, 6, and 8. Gus, do you want to read it, buddy? Okay, tell us what Jesus said. <laughs> yes. Amen. Does Jesus love you? Yeah. Do you love Jesus? Yeah, I love Jesus. Aw, you're the best. And, uh, mommy. Tell everybody, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Well, you heard it. I think that's all we need for that's this morning. That's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what you got for All us, right, girl? 2 Timothy 4, 6 through 8. I, Paul, am already being poured out like a libation, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have competed well. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. From now on, the crown. This is actually real, like, sometimes how morning prayer time is for a lot of us, so we're just welcoming you into, like, the reality. Hopefully you can hear me, though. Um, From now on, the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the just judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance. So, hopefully you caught, like, a single word. Um, I'm so sorry. (laughs) But, so sometimes when I'm studying scripture, I will read different versions just to kind of really wrap my head around it. And I liked one version that said... Uh, Paul speaking, he says, you take over, I'm about to die. My life and offering on God's altar, this is the only race worth running. I've run hard right to the finish, believed all the way. So he's dying. Hold on. All right. So so Paul is dying. Um, And what really stands out to me is the peace that he has. Like he's saying, I'm ready, you take over. Uh, And... He says, my life has been fruitful. Fruitful. I've run the race. Um, and he's proclaiming how good God has been. And then he goes on to say, now you get to watch and you get to experience this goodness. Um, and so the thing that, hi, the thing that stands out to me is like this piece about dying that he has. Um, I think that it's a thing that the number or the two main fears that mm-hmm. human be- beings experience is like heights and death, right? Isn't that a thing? I feel like I'm I've read more that. more afraid of humans. Social anxiety, also a thing. That's very a thing. much very high on the list, but I'm pretty sure I've read Death and, and Heights. I'll believe you. So the thing that really stands out <laughs> to me about this is just his piece about dying and oh. how excited he is. And, um, to rest in the arms of the maker. In the arms of the angel. Sad dog, dog picture. Enter here. So do you want me to read it real quick again, or you got it? Um, hmm. Yeah, maybe let's do that. Okay. <laughs> he's adorable, but he man, adorable. he's a terrible too. I'll read you this second version. So okay. Paul says, you take over, I'm about to die. My life and offering on God's altar. Mm. This is the only race worth running. I've run hard, right to the finish, believed all the way. Um, and Yeah, yeah. That's, that's huge. Life mm-hmm. is a race, and there are points that you just want to give up, mm-hmm. but then you don't because you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Amen. <laughs> no, but what's really cool is just like when you're running, I'm just like thinking of this as I speak, so this could go very poorly. It's going to be great. But like when you're running, you hit that point where it like hurts so much and then it like stops hurting. Mm-hmm. You know? It's so real. So like you just got to push through it. Yeah. There are moments of desolation mm-hmm. and consolation. Yes. And if you're in a moment of desolation, Mm-hmm. I feel you. Yeah. So one time I signed up to to run a half marathon, mm-hmm. and although I ended up having an event I needed to go to, so I didn't actually run the half marathon. I did train up to eight miles. <gasps> wow, which is a huge Dang, deal for me because I'm not awesome. a runner. But the thing that I that I really experienced was like literally just focusing on the next step because mm-hmm. I I would think like you I feel can a song take, coming on. <laughs> We can't sing it because Facebook will, you know, do the to thing. The no, you can't. You guys next. all the, no. <laughs> <laughs> the next uh, right thing by Anna when Elsa. I can't tell you what happens because in case you haven't seen it, but Elsa something Frozen bad too. To Elsa and then okay. Anyway, 
It's tragic, but it's all, I sobbed. I watched that movie by myself in the theater, and I, I had my hoodie on, and I sobbed, and I was eating popcorn. It was beautiful. Anyway. That's beautiful. <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah. So that's yes. it for, for us, but we'd love to hear your thoughts on this passage. Let us know. Or on Frozen 2. That too. Either one. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you like running. And if you like running. What are your what are your running analogies? Because there's so many good there spiritual analogies about running. So run the race. Yes, run it. Oorah. We love you. Have a beautiful day. Have a good one. What is that? <laughs>